Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. Today is an exciting day. We are taking my 1979 iron head to become legal. I am taking it to uh, a city up the road, to a shop to uh, make her uh, legal. What happened in New Zealand is that um, if you don't pay your registration for some time, uh, I don't know what time, uh, your number plate and um, the VIN number becomes dead. They just deregister it out of the system. So when you want to bring it back to the legal status to be able to use on the road, you have to go through the revinning process. So uh, your uh, VIN number plate be taken off and they give you a new one, I assume. And then uh, the, net, the dead number plate will be replaced and they gave you a new plate. So for that, the bike has to be uh, uh, roadworthy. Okay, all the way. So uh, that's what I've done. I have rebuilt the calipers, rebuilt the brakes, rebuilt the you know, uh, hoses, uh, cleaned up and rebuilt master cylinder, and all, all the other switches. Um, uh, kill switch was dead, so I did that. Indicators were not working, so that's working now. Lights didn't work, they work. Um, all these, I know in my previous video, you can see all this rear assembly was missing. Uh, and there is a quite intricate mechanism on the inside to connect to the brake pedal. Uh, because it goes from the brake pedal on the inside, comes through the backside and through these levers uh, hit the master cylinder. So that's done. Uh, rear indicators, rear lights, rebuild the carburetors, carburetor. Uh, I tidied up the rust on the exhaust and I just give it a quick paint so um, the rusty bits are not seen. Um, and uh, also what they require is that uh, on this bike there is no uh, washer or anything so I just drilled the axle and put a pin through for safety. This bike didn't even have the shocks so I put the shocks on and um, now I think everything is ready. I was rewelding, resoldering the kill switch yesterday because it was working in the opposite direction so I fixed that. But I found that um, these little bloody brake switches on the front, um, they are so flimsy and that broke. None of it works, so I took it out. And uh, I'm not going to be able to get a new one in a hurry. Uh, so I'm just going to wing it and just he either fail me for it, if he fails me for it, I'll have to order a new one that will be two, three weeks before it arrives, put it in there and go back for the recheck. But I'm just gonna wing it today and just see what happens. I did put a mirror in yesterday. They didn't, didn't have any mirrors, so now we have one. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna take the paperwork, all my bill of sales and you know, everything I have to the office and I'll show you what's uh, it's done and uh, maybe it's gonna work. This is what New Zealand legal system with the motorcycles or vehicles is like. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Alrighty. She's in the ute. Nice and secure. Pretty solid. Time to go. On the road again. Da 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 da. I don't know anything else from that lyric. This is our lovely 80 kilometer zone. Always road works, always something going on. Bikes chilling at the back. And the day is beautiful. Not a single cloud on the sky. Excuse all the cobwebs. <laughs> I don't use 
them I use very often. And it's a 1992 Hilux. Um, so there is a the old spider residing in here. I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way Yeah, yeah I know what I want to feel Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way I know what I want to feel Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way paperwork so uh, let's get into the office and uh, see um, what we can do if I can get myself sorted update we had a look uh, look at the paperwork everything seems to be in order and because the bike was registered before in New Zealand um, thank you truck um, I'm just gonna leave it here the guy who does all this paperwork who does the new VIN is not here until next week so but I'm able to leave the motorcycle here find some help to um, get the bike of the wreck but um, yeah let's do this put my phone in there for pickup which doesn't mean what you think it means um, it means that the bike is ready for pickup it's uh, not ready at all it hasn't been wind binned. it's not uh, registered yet uh, there is issues by the sound of it uh, they didn't like the proof of ownership I have a few I have a bill of sale from my previous owner and a bill of sale from owner way before and I have a bill of sale from uh, my seller and uh, also bill of sale from seller before and that's not enough I have to uh, write some other form something to uh, to fill or sign or get JP I'm not so sure and I said, oh, is it just what I have to do? Just sign up these two things and then uh, the bike's ready. And the guy says, oh no, there is more issues. And I'm just, oh, okay. Um, what are they? Said nothing. So I have no idea what's with the bike. I don't know what they don't like, uh, what I have to fix what needs to be fixed I thought she's good to go but obviously uh, there are a few issues so it is going to be a surprise luckily today I finished a bit early at work so I can uh, so 
so I can get the youth and go over there. But and nothing as straightforward as you expect. Well, I didn't expect to be straightforward. I was hopeful. Yeah, mama. Okay, okay. Bike is on a on a bike. Time to go home. So I got a nice little bunch of notes. Uh, what needs to be done? So um, um, number one, my rear reflector missing. So I just have to have a little reflector, a little silly fifty cent little thing in there to stick on a plate or on a light. Then. Um, Rear sprocket might be a bit worn out, but he said if I get a uh, just a bike shop look over and say that uh, it's still okay, we can get away with it. For now, I'll be potentially changing it later on anyway. Um, rear brake piping, it's a bit loose and wobbly. I have to figure out some little clamp to uh, make it more solid. That should be easy enough to do. Uh, my engine mount uh, bolts, the bolt is too short. So uh, there is a nylock, but um, the bolt doesn't go all the way through the nylock, so it's actually not locking it properly. So uh, I have to get a longer bolt to put through the engine, through the engine mount. And um, front tire is a bit worn, it's kind of cracked on the sidewalls. Um, I have to do a brake declaration, that's probably the the toughest part to make sure that uh, it's correct and uh, the brakes work and uh, rear tire side was cracking <laughs> so I potentially will have to get a new rear tire um, and then I have to provide this is the tricky one maybe you guys can help me out I need to provide a indication indicator declaration because my indicators, as you guys know, I'm not 100% sure about this. These indicators work in a way, this is 1979 Sporty, XLH. Uh, you hold the button, indicators work, you put your finger off, indicators don't work. But it's not safe to current standard, but it's... So as I researched in some forums, it was like that. Um, can you guys point me to a direction where uh, I can find some official looking documentation to show that this is the right way of indicator working for this type of vehicle? That would be kindly appreciated. Uh, otherwise I'll have to figure out how to keep them running and uh, redo all the electrics, which I have no idea how to do right now. And the last, day, last thing is to prove uh, ownership trail all the way to the last registration or first registration which I don't know how many people own this bike but um, the guy said that I have I have another paper like some official declaration say that hey I am the owner and it might be enough so uh, it's not a hell of a lot of things there is few things to tidy up um, maybe spending more money on the sprocket tires uh, see about the declaration I'm not sure um, and then I try to figure out these indicators so uh, yeah something to look at all right let's go home Okay, so uh, this is the end of the video. You've seen a list of uh, what I have to do, what I have to fix on the bike uh, to be road legal. And uh, this is just the start of the process of the VTNZ. Uh, New Zealand to uh, register your vehicle, motorcycle. It's not too bad, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, especially when uh, the office is not in your place I have to drive about 40 minutes out so um, yeah it is what it is so if you want to see what happens with the bike and how I get on with the fixing keep watching I'll post it in the next uh, next week hopefully when I get my stuff ready 
and um, yeah thank you for watching so far thank you for supporting my little mini channel and um, we all get wrenching like get this bike on the road and get it legal again thanks again for watching push the buttons say good day how is it in your country uh, is it easy to register bikes um, what is, you know I know in the states lots of time people say do you have to have a title but uh, is it from country to country from state to state what do you do how is it how easy I know how it is in Slovakia I can tell you about it other time but um, yeah let's keep in touch <laughs> see ya